Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about different options you can have for installing SOLIDWORKS on your computer. So if you go to the SOLIDWORKS website, you'll see a couple different options. You have commercial, academia, research, students and makers, and um, entrepreneurs, startups, and so on. So uh, if you want to get a commercial license, you see these are several thousand, so I don't really recommend this. Um, so for the next best choice, you're probably looking at the students at Makers. So if you're a student, you could um, get a student edition for $99 a year. Uh, there's also like a cloud version. For the Makers, you have here, uh, you could start at $9.99 a month or $99 a year. And what this will do is it also install SOLIDWORKS on your computer, but then when you launch it, if you go through the installation process, um, you're going to get an email that says like get started and then you're going to get to this page. Then if you click SOLIDWORKS Connected, you could open up and it'll open up your SOLIDWORKS. So uh, one thing is every time you use SOLIDWORKS, you have to go through this login or you could create like a desktop shortcut uh, that will also help you log in as well. So you could choose one of those options, see whichever one fits you the best. And then once you do that, uh, you'll open up SOLIDWORKS and it'll look like this. Okay. Uh, usually it'll show the maker sign. I don't know why it's not showing it now, but if I close it and open it again, uh, you should see it uh, open up. So you can see it says the launcher, select the app, please wait. So if you wait a little bit, you can see that um, the SOLIDWORKS Connected is going to pop up. OK, so it'll just take a little bit to load. And then once it's done loading, the SOLIDWORKS window should pop up like we did before. And the startup time will probably depend on your PC. Usually, if your PC is pretty fast, it'll be faster. But see, you can see the maker sign here pop up. And then you also see down here in the bottom, it says SOLIDWORKS Connected Maker and SOLIDWORKS Connected here. OK, so hopefully this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.